So what we have here is a money counter. Now this is good for any currency. So here are some of its features. We have the automatic detecting with UV and MG while counting. Suitable for most currencies in the world. Automatic start, stop, and clearing. False self-checking function. Automatic cumulative function. So we're gonna go through these later in the video. So let's pop this open, see what's inside. So what we have here is the manual and some wires. So that is everything in the box. So, so this is the actual unit. We're gonna check this out. When I open this, it actually smells like a factory. So it's got the rotating thing over here to count the money, of course. It has a couple of buttons over here. Here on the back side, we have the on and off switch over here. And here is where we connect the power cord. So it has a counting speed of 1,000 pieces per minute. Banknote range is 110 to 190. Width is 50 to 110 millimeters. I'm guessing this is for uh, the different currencies. Maybe if it's smaller or larger, it would not be compatible for this machine so I guess this would apply if you are in a country where your currency is larger or smaller I've never turned this uh, thing on so we're about to see together Seven. okay it's uh -huh. okay right, I'm gonna get some bills okay so here we have a couple of stacks I've never used this before by the way so as I am unboxing this I am experiencing this for the first time so the plate here is adjustable depending on the currency that you are using so it detects the money as it goes in so for example see it starts to rotate when some bills are near So let's go over some of the features that it has. So if there is a counterfeit banknote found while counting, it will stop and it will beep. So how to choose a counterfeit identifying function. So there is a UV function. Press down the select button. Counter works to check the non-magnetic banknote through UV checking function. So that's how you would detect if the money is counterfeit or not. I don't have any fake currency with me, so unfortunately, I won't be able to test that. So it also has a batch function, which means, for example, you have a stack like this and you want to separate it by hundreds so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the batch button over here and this will be displayed on screen so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go plus plus or minus for example I want to separate this by 90s right so I'm gonna put this to 90 run this through the machine and there you go it will separate the money by 90s because that's what I said so, and it will just continue. So for example, I want to continue over here. So it will, it will separate another batch of 90. By the way, if you press the plus button over here, it will add by 10. But if you press the minus, it will reduce by 1. So if you press 1, 90 would be 100, then 110, 120. But if you press the minus, it will reduce by 1. So 119, 118, like that. And you can also press and hold so it will quickly reduce some safety over here for your hands it will only run when it detects money put your finger in here nothing so it's very nice very nice so let's test out how many bills i can put in here at the same time let's start with a hundred of course this is gonna go through it very easily there you go let's try 200 let's add another stack here we go Okay, okay, okay. 200, no problem. Let's try uh, 300. I don't have uh, thousands on me. I forgot to withdraw, so I only have a smaller bill. Let's try to run uh, 300 bills. Oh, okay, okay. A bit of struggling. Let's try to push it down. Okay, boom. Okay, okay. Okay, right, let's go. Okay, so it handled 300 bills. Let's try four. Another stack. This might break. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. This might break. <laughs> Please don't break. Please don't break. Oh, I just got... Okay, so it is struggling now. <laughs> okay, 100. Boom. Let's go. 100. Boom. Nice. 
Comes out down in the back. Okay, another 100. Let's go. Okay, so that was the maximum that it can go as long as you can fit it over here. As you can see, when I placed it, some of the bills fell down at the back because it wouldn't hold. So yeah, I can go uh, 400 bills at the same time. This is Philippine Peso. When we place 300 bills and up, you kind of have to push it down for it to be able to uh, run through the machine. But when I place the 200, it ran smoothly. So yeah, 200 bills at the same time would be ideal. And now for the caution and maintenance. So before you use the counter you're gonna switch it on and leave it for about two to three minutes for it to be able to warm up this counter is suitable for working at temperature from 0 to 40 degrees Celsius store it in a dry place in order to prevent electric shock I I'm this is very obvious water and electricity don't work well so yeah keep it in a dry place don't put it in a, I don't know, a sink why would you put money counter on the sink or anywhere wet electricity and water don't mix regularly clearing away the dust inside the counter but this is just boring stuff so if you're gonna buy this I highly recommend that you read the manual before actually using the unit every information that you need to know about this is in here read the safety first I use this right after I plugged it in which is wrong it was my mistake I didn't read it first so luckily you watch this video uh, you know better than me now but when you buy this plug it in switch it on wait two to three minutes before you actually put any bills in for it to run so if you want to purchase one of these I will leave a link in the description down below no I'm not affiliated with the company me, but uh, for the convenience of you as my viewer you click the link and buy it immediately I will not make any money from that it is the cheapest one I found on Shopee but if you find a cheaper one similar to this you can leave it in the comments down below for future viewers so that they can get a good deal out of it so if you find this video useful you can thank me by subscribing to my channel leaving a like on this video comment down below if you have any suggestions on what I should unbox next so thanks for watching guys peace